first person I see in here is Wanda McMorris. Wanda, how you doing today? Happy Wednesday, Miss B, hello. Latrice, hello, hello. Ron Wilson, hello. Mary Addison, Mildred, how you doing? How's everybody? Somebody out there is really excited that Gina Young is gonna show you all how easy it is to make delicious egg foo young. I'm excited, I'm excited. It's Wednesday, y'all got a great recipe for you all. Maddie Watts, how you doing today? It's a great day today. Tracy, hello. Bring the thumbs up, up as you come in. Let's make the thumbs up during the live match with the people that's in here. I can see 151 of you. Hardly anybody has given a thumbs up. Rhonda Prelo, hello. Charlene, Lois, Little Bit, Alice, Alyssa, Wooten, hello. Mikkel, hello. Sharon Johnson, Bubby is here, and Karen, Brenda Willis, hello. Talking, hello. Ursula, hello. How you doing? Everybody, Linda Green, hello. I'm excited to see you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. We're making Egg Foo Young today. If you don't know about Egg Foo Young, I'm gonna teach you all about it. It's an easy, easy, easy peasy recipe. So now, Jessica Smith, hello. Janice, Elaine, Low Ball, hello. Dan the Gamer, how you doing? Marsha, how you doing? C. Ross, hello. Jennifer, hello. Denise Billups, hello. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna wait for the thumbs up to come up, wait for a few more people to come into the live, and then we're gonna get started. Now, if you're cooking with me today, um, you're gonna be having rice with this recipe or you might not be having it, it's really up to you guys. I highly suggest, while I'm just talking, <laughs> while I'm just talking right now, go ahead and get started on your rice. Okay, that's gonna be, you're excited. Okay, this is great. Um, go ahead, get started on your rice because the rice is pretty much takes the longest. Okay, I'm gonna be making rice aroni, but uh, typically, egg foo young is served with just white rice. You know, you could get brown rice as well, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Make your rice, okay? Karen, how you doing? Nadine, hello. It's a great Wednesday here. I'm so excited. Saj, how you doing? Hello. Jackie, hello. Latrice C., Paula Jackson, hello and welcome, welcome. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're a returning subscriber. You love Egg Foo Young. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they love it, right? But then I know there's a whole lot of people in here. Oh, Prince is doing great. Thank you for asking. I'll, I'll show him to you a little later, okay? Um, forgot what I was saying. Oh, I, I feel like there's going to be people that love it. But then I also feel like there's going to be people in the comment, like Ron, he's saying he's never had it. Listen, it's good. You know it's good if there's, a, uh, there's somebody, which is me, that is not a fan of eggs, and this is one of my favorite recipes for sure, to eat. I love it. I love to make it. I love to eat it. I'm not a fan of eating eggs, but this recipe, I can eat all of it. <laughs> This is exciting, Derek Eats, how you doing? Okay, so listen, I talked to Sonia, and she's not gonna be able um, to be in this chat. She had a family emergency, but she is, she's fine. Um, but she had a family emergency, and she's not sure when the next time she'll be back. So I talked to her, and she's doing okay. I told her just, you know, she's welcome, you know, after she, you know, needs to do everything she needs to do with her family to come back into the live chat, okay? Yes, hello, hello, little Brit, little bit. Uh, Prince is doing good, he's doing good, he's looking good. I'm gonna show him to you, I'm gonna show him to you. I don't wanna pick him up right now before I cook cause you know, there's like, you know, people in the background that's gonna say, oh, she picking the baby up right before she cook. You know, so I usually like to do that after I cook after I eat and then I can pick the puppies up, okay? 
Yes, we will miss Sonia. We love Sonia. Mildred, how you doing today? Ron Wilson, how you doing? Talking tea, hello? All right, y'all, let's continue to bring the thumbs up. Hey, you might need to phone call your family and friends. Somebody you know, tell them Jeannie Young is live. I'm about to make an amazing recipe. It's interesting how you make it. Okay, you said you're doing great. That's great. Thank you, Tracy. I need to tell. I need you to tell my son that. Here, let, let me, uh, Tracy Wallace says this. Let, let me let you tell my son this. Come here, Dakota. Come here, read this message, what Tracy says. Okay, so read that. Can you see Tracy Wallace? What, you read it? Did you read it? <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. That's my husband laughing. He needed to see that message. Dakota had to see that message, our 14 year old. <laughs> That's who I wanted to see the message. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna give it a belt. Let's see, um, Wendell Johnson says, Gina, you are fun to watch and your videos are teachable. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna give it about five minutes. We're gonna get started. Wash your hands, get your aprons, get all your ingredients out. Um, I'd love to know, hi William, how you doing? I would love to know um, who's cooking. If you're cooking, give me a red heart in the comment section so I can just have an idea. Donald, how you doing? Paul, hello. Paul Stant, hello, you enjoy the shows. Well, Paul, I tell you what, welcome to this chat. We're gonna have a fun time today. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. So now, Paul, on uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, we're going live. Live cooking shows just like this, and I teach you all how to make something great. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please let us know that you are new so we can welcome you in such a way. And if I can't get to your message or I, I miss your message, go ahead and... Um, Message me back in hopes that I'll see it. But sometimes it is hard for me to read the message because I'm so busy cooking and I'm looking at a ton of messages, okay? Wanda McMorris, I'm doing okay. Jaylena, hello. How's Prince doing? Prince is doing good. I'm going to show him to y'all. You're just watching, okay. Now for the people that's just watching, get you a pencil and a piece of paper so you can take notes. Now, um... When you're making egg foo young, and then and I'll get up and get started. When you're making egg foo young, you're new here, and your name is Angeline Beggars. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. When you're making egg foo young, you can uh, make this with just vegetables, and it is, you never had it, Mildred? Okay, okay, you're in for a treat. When you make egg foo young, you can use meat if you want, but Rhonda Prelo's cooking, okay. Um... If you don't want to use meat, it's delicious without it. You can use chicken that comes out of the can, pre-cooked chicken, leftover pork chops, whatever you want to use for your meat. Chopped up ham pieces, shrimp, a crab, whatever you want to put in it, okay? Whatever your mind can fathom. I think that's the word. <laughs> you can put it in egg foo young. So today I'm going to be using ham pieces. So like Mildred, in her case, she, she can't do ham. So she might want to do shrimp or chicken. If you are in the chat cooking with me and you need to know when to start on your meat to cook this recipe, let me know and I'm going to be teaching you all. I'm going to say, so if you're using shrimp for this recipe, now's the time to go ahead and get it, you know, get it going. Okay, if you're using chicken, you're going to do this. I'm going to direct you, but I need you all to put stop signs, red stop signs. Stop signs are red, Gina. <laughs> put stop signs in the chat. And, and that kind of alerts me to really look at the message, right? When I see the message, that lets me know that you have a serious question about something that we're cooking. Okay? So, and a lot of times, if I don't see the message, uh, there's going to be people in the background that says, hey, Gina, so-and-so had a question and they want to know this. So that helps me out as well. I'm going to get up, get my apron on, stop all this talking. Let's rock and roll. A great recipe ahead of you all here. Okay. Okay, there we go. I got the comments up. We're going to turn the microphone on. And when I put the microphone on, the sound will go low. But then the sound will get louder 
and you'll be able to hear me. It just goes low for about a minute or so, Le less than a minute. Okay, let's turn on the microphones. Perfect. Take notes, y'all. You, you want to know how to make this. Uh, our family likes this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Make it just because it, it's good for, for anything. Dinner. Breakfast, lunch, snack. Brunch. <laughs> all right, can you put the computer and all of my cords and stuff over there, please? I need all that stuff over there before I flip the camera, okay? Thing plugged up for me. Okay, we got the microphone plugged in. And you're going to see me on the other side of the counter in just one second. Drew Moss, how you doing? My Holy King, hello. Denise Green, hello. It's one of your favorites, okay. Drew Moss says, or who's that? Let me see. Somebody says hello. Oh, that's Ron Wilson says Dakota and Mr. Young, hello. They said hello. Thank you. Oh, you are? You're tired today? Millie Rich folks, how you doing today? Hope you're having a good time. I'm gonna show y'all a good recipe today, okay? Got the microphone going, let's get my apron on. Okay, let me. Yes, I heard about Tina Turner. Yes, I did. I just heard about it about, I don't know, maybe two hours ago. Okay, everybody, let's do this. I'm gonna wash my hands, and one of the first things that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get started with my rice. If you're making rice with this recipe, go ahead, start on your rice. The rice takes the longest. Everything comes together so fast. Now, I am gonna be showing you how to make a quick gravy, but the gravy is like ABCs. It's so easy, okay? It's not the kind where you got to do the flour and the roux. It's not that kind. All right, let's flip this baby around. Good evening, Eloise. How you doing? Meats. 
Since I'm using a cooked diced meat, uh, which is cooked ham, okay, um, I'm just going to heat it through just a little bit. But what we have to do with this onion is we're going to chop it down, we're going to saute that baby up. Get it nice and soft because the quick time that it takes to make egg for young, your, egg, uh, your, your onion would never have enough time to get cooked during that time. So what we're going to do first is chop up some onion when your onion is like 90% cooked. Then you go ahead and add in your meat just to heat your meat through. If you're using shrimp, then you can cut your shrimp up. I suggest you dice your shrimp up, okay? and throw it in with the onion. If you are using chicken out the can, you know, you just heat it through. If you're using a chicken that you have to cook, then you go ahead and get your chicken into boiling water and cook it up real quick, okay? Get it well done and chop it up. So now let's, let's do it and I'm gonna walk everything through with you. If you have a serious question, put a red stop sign in the chat and I'll, Try my best to read your message, okay? So now, I'm gonna make my way over this way, and I'm gonna turn my rice on. While I'm turning my rice on, you all can be working on your rice. And then I'm gonna come back around there, and we're gonna chop onions, chop your meat if you need to. You might be the person that's using lunch meat, and, it, and that's just fine. Lunch meat is delicious in here chicken or turkey lunch meat what like i said pretty much any meat that you love if you had if you had um pork chops or chicken yesterday for dinner you got some in the refrigerator you can pretty much chop up any meat you want to put into your egg for young and keep in mind i'm just going to uh say it again that this can be vegetarian and it's delicious without meat okay <clears throat> Don't let me burn my rice, okay? I got my rice cooking and a little bit of oil here. I don't want to burn it. <laughs> I don't want to burn it. That's the only box I have. Okay, so now let's go ahead, chop up some onion. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of onion. I might make just four egg fouillons. And they're, they're, they're about this size when you make them. Okay, so I'll show you the amount of onion that I'm going to be using. If I haven't said, I feel like I already said it. I hope y'all are having a great day. I really do. I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. All right, let's get some onion in there. If you don't like it, don't use it. This little bit right here is going to work. Oh, I'm praying it don't make my eyes water. <laughs> I don't want my eyes to water. That's plenty enough. You get your frying pan and let's saute the onions. You can saute it up using um, butter or oil, which, whichever you choose. Let me grab a pan so we can do just that. <clears throat> My microphone's moving on me. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a little bit of oil For my onions, yes, I'm having a great time. I think that's Denise. Great, welcome in. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not going to cry over those. Check the mic settings. Okay, William. Uh, okay, okay. Check the mic and see what we got going on. You know how the light is missing, so yeah, we're, we're changing it right now. And if you can let us know uh, what the camera's doing right now, he's looking at the settings on the microphone. He's changing it. Now you let me know what you think of the sound. Okay, let me know what you think. Mic is okay. Okay, you can hear me great. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Now, um, the egg foo young, 
that I would get years and years ago going to an Asian restaurant, it would have uh, bean sprouts in it, right? And I totally love fresh bean sprouts, not the kind that you get out of the can, right? Not that kind. So um, I ordered some bean sprouts, but the store just didn't have them. So this recipe is going to work out without bean sprouts, okay? That's why I said in the community post, if you cannot find fresh bean sprouts, don't worry about it. I promise you, it's, it's going to be okay, okay? I'm just opening my packet, and then I'll come back around and we'll proceed with our recipe. This is just the packet that I'm using for my riceroni, okay? And I need some of this. that I'm cooking today is pretty much you mix it in with the packet, right? Once you put that, pack, that seasoning packet in your water in, you can bring it up to a boil, cover it with foil, turn it down on low, and then uh, it's always done in 20 to 25 minutes. So I love it. I love the flavor. I always love to have rice aroni when I'm making an Asian dish. But there are some times that we like to have white rice. Today just wasn't that day. <laughs> All right, as soon as that comes up to a boil, I'm going to put the foil on it. Okay, so I'm going to be using ham. Uh, what the person, the people that's cooking with me, what meats are you using so I can tell you what to do if you have any questions or do you got it? If you got it, say, Gina, I got you. I know, I know what to do. Turn the fan on for me, please. <clears throat> Renee, how you doing? Hello, welcome back. Can you turn the fan on for me? You're using shrimp. Jason is using shrimp. Okay, Jason, so when you see me put my um, ham in after the... Um, Onions are like 90% cooked. I want you to clean and dice your shrimp up and you just throw them right in with the onions just to heat them up a little bit. Now, you know the shrimp doesn't take but a hot second to cook, okay? So when I throw my ham into my onions, that's when I want you to put your shrimp in, okay? The Miss, hello. Irene, hello. Mary G, hello. You'll be using shrimp and chicken. Okay, so for your chicken, make sure that it's cooked. You may have already got uh, pre-cooked chicken, or if you need to cook it, boil it real quick. Turn it up on hot. Get it well cooked, okay? And then um, you'll do the same thing with your shrimp. You're going to chop it up raw, throw it in with your onions when your onions are 90% done. Okay, I'm going to cover my rice, put a lid onto it, Okay, there we go. I got my rice covered up. I'm turning it down on low. And I'm going to put my timer on here for 20 minutes. There we go. Okay. Jermaine, how you doing? Terry McBride, hello, how you doing? You're only doing the veggies. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. Rebecca says, I made shrimp eggfully young. Last week, you ordered some bean sprouts. Oh, okay, okay. Turkey sausage, you can. Absolutely, you can. Whatever, you, whatever meat that you want to put in there, you bet you can. Turkey sausage would be good. I've never had like a sausage in mine, but like I said, this, this is a very forgiving recipe that you can pretty much do what you want with it. Somebody had emailed me and said that they're making it and they want to put bell peppers in it. And I thought, that's unique, but if that's what they love, then absolutely. <laughs> okay, so now let me ask you all something. I'm ready to get started showing you all while we have our rice cooking, we got our onion sauteing. 
Are you all ready for me to show you all how to make this beautiful, easy, quick, and simple gravy that we're going to pour all over our egg to yell? Somebody say yes. Hello, Debbie. Yes, it is. MSHTC2011. Hello. <laughs> okay, yes, so you all are ready. I'm going to put my onions over this way. Okay? Let me make sure that burner is on. There we go, it's on. We have a pan here, just a saucepan. We got broth. You can be using any, just to be honest, you can use any kind of broth that you want. As long as it's some kind of broth, vegetable broth, chicken broth, low sodium broth, turkey, chicken, you know? All right, just get it in the pan, okay? This is a chicken broth, and this is actually 32 ounces. I'm gonna pour the whole thing in there because my family likes this gravy, right? And so I wanna put some chicken powder in, and it's literally just a pinch. All right, that right there is fine. You wanna do less? Absolutely. Okay, so now we're gonna use a really interesting ingredient. This right here, let's talk about it real quick. This right here is yellow food coloring. If you have a food dye, do not use it. A food dye allergy, don't use it. Or if you have a family member that has a food dye allergy, don't use it. If you just don't wanna use it, then you don't have to, okay? It will not alter the flavor. This doesn't get flavor, but one thing it is gonna do is it's gonna give a beautiful color. It's gonna make like a yellow gravy, right? You've all been out to Asian restaurants and you've seen that bright yellow gravy and it's gorgeous and it tastes good, okay? If you want to, you don't have to if you don't want to. Watch how much I put in, y'all. It looks red, but it is yellow, trust me. That's it. Just a little tiny bit. Okay. So we have chicken broth. We have yellow food coloring, chicken powder. Okay. I do want to put some garlic powder in. Um, if I can find it. <laughs> I have, y'all, I have no clue where the garlic powder is. Just bear with me. We're going to find it together. Where would you be if you were garlic powder at the Young Tucks? Maybe, maybe, maybe you're here, maybe you're there. Let's see. It's okay. All right, y'all. Get some in. Just like so. I'm not going to be shy when it comes to seasoning. When it's time to season, don't be afraid to season things. You want, for whatever you're cooking, to have good flavor. In order for it to have good flavor, you got to know to put some seasoning in there and make it taste good, okay? On to the burner, okay? My onions are sauteing up, and they smell pretty good, right? Everybody doing okay? Thank you. What's your name? Hayden. I didn't know how to pronounce your, your name, but thank you. Okay, so we're going to bring up this broth to a nice light boil. Once it comes up to a slight boil, we're then going to put, we're going to make a cornstarch slurry. And I typically, when I'm making a cornstarch slurry, I want to use two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it with cold water or broth, okay? So I'm gonna get two tablespoons. I'm not gonna use the measuring spoon. I'm just gonna use that house tablespoon, okay? This is going to thicken up our gravy in such a way, make it nice and thick to, to pour on top of our egg foulion. 
Now, I will show you. I'll put the water in a cup so you can see exactly how much water I'm putting into my cornstarch to make the slurry. You don't need a lot. Make sure that it's cold water, okay? Come in closely so y'all can see. Okay? Y'all see how much? But I'm not using that much. Can, is it, are you on it? Okay? That's all you need. Okay? Stir it up. And when this comes up to a nice boil, we're going to pour in our cornstarch. But anytime you pour in, a cornstarch slurry into anything, you make sure you're stirring like crazy, okay? Because you don't want this to turn into a big lump when you pour it in, right? So as you're pouring it, I want you stirring as you're pouring it just like this. But it's not ready because it ain't heated up yet. Let's let it heat up. Take a look in over at the onions. They're doing exactly what we want them to do. We want them to get translucent in color which is, you know, kind of clear in color. And then um, we'll add our meat. <clears throat> you, Janice ha has a great question. No soy sauce in the gravy? Well, Janice, what I was explaining to them is today I want to make a chicken gravy. And a ch I believe that a chicken gravy should be yellow. Right? I want my gravy to be yellow. <clears throat> so, if you want your gravy to be dark, and I do have videos where I've made a Kuyong and my gravy is brown, right? So if you want to do brown, you can add the kitchen bouquet, which will give you, excuse me, <clears throat> it'll give you color, dark color to your gravy, or you can use soy sauce for that flavor and that dark color. It's really up to you. But if you want the yellow gravy that I'm making today, you're going to do it like this. No soy sauce. Yes, it is, Jenny O. Jenny O, how you doing today? Tommy Painter says, I wonder, it would be wonderful if you cook egg rolls along with that. It really would be nice, right? That it would be nice. Egg rolls with egg full young, we'd really be set, right? Okay, so take a look in at my onions. I feel like it's the perfect time. So go ahead and add your shrimp if you're doing shrimp. Add your meat, whatever kind of meat that you're going to put into this recipe. Okay. There goes my ham. Oh, it smells good right away. Man, it smells good. Now this is fully cooked ham. Okay. Whoops. My rice is cooking. Your rice should also be cooking, okay? Let's take a stir in a look in at our, our broth here. Our broth has came up to a really slight boil. Can you all see inside the pan? Okay, see how it's steaming right there? I'm very happy with that. So now, remember I told you, when you're putting, what? When you're putting the cornstarch slurry in, you stir vigorously. Just like so in this manner. Now, Gina, that's really bright. Well, in the beginning when you put it in, it's going to be real bright. But then it'll turn back to regular color after it cooks. And literally, right before your own eyes, this is going to get nice and thick and gorgeous. And then you can taste it when it cools down a little bit. Okay? Oh, I'm all excited. I want to kind of dip some of that into my bowl and get all that cornstarch out of there. If for some reason, let's just say you're cooking with Gina right now and yours doesn't thick enough. Because it can happen. If it happens to you, I don't want you to freak out. What I want you to do is add a little bit more cornstarch to water, put it in, and literally, like I said, it will begin to thicken up for you. It's a promise. Okay, so come on in. Let's look at this. Now, this hot mixture has to cool down before we put it into our eggs, okay? And the way we're going to cool it down, if you want to, you can just set it on the counter after you heat your meat up. Or you can throw it in the refrigerator if you want to cool that baby down real quick, okay? If, if you want it to, okay? So I'm going to take a look in at my gravy and see what it's looking like. 
I feel like mine can use a little bit more cornstarch. So I'm gonna wait another two, three minutes, and if it's not thick enough, we're gonna use a little bit more cornstarch, okay? It can definitely happen, okay? Just in case, I'm gonna use about another. Oh, that's too much, my goodness. But it's okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of it. I'll put some of it back into this box here. No worries there. All right, more water. Mix it up. All right. You know we're not using that much. I took a lot of it and put it back into the box. You see, just a little tiny bit. Okay. Let me clean my mess up here. And my onions and my ham, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that pan off because uh, that is done. The ham and the onions is perfectly done. Okay? So now, since it didn't thick enough as I wanted it to, why don't we go ahead and put some more cornstarch in? Come on in, y'all. Put a little bit more. Stir it, get that extra out of my out of my bowl. Oh, now see, now it's thick. <laughs> That's all it took was a little extra. It just needed a little tiny extra. Okay, now who knows? C come on in, y'all. Is there anybody out there that knows about this gravy that you see at your local Asian restaurants that's this color, right? It's this color, yes. They have this, and then they have, I'm gonna turn this off. They have this chicken gravy. They do have a brown gravy, and then they also have the famous sweet and sour sauce. That's the bright red color that we all love, absolutely. I know how to make um, the, the red gravy as well. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the red sweet and sour sauce. I showed you all how to make that in um, a previous video for my sweet and sour uh, chicken. So at this point, take a look at this. The ham and onions is perfectly done. I'm gonna just set it on the platter so that it can cool down, okay? I'm just going to use this plate here. Someone said, would egg foo young just be considered an omelet with gravy? Um, I, maybe, it could be. It could be considered that in an Asian way. <laughs> it could definitely be considered that in an Asian way. But I tell you one thing, it does not taste like an omelet. It's so different. And the reason why it's different is because we cook this in a nice amount of oil. We cook the egg until the egg is brown, right? It's so interesting, right? Not yellow. You all know when I make my scrambled eggs, I tell you all, I say, uh, I don't want scrambled eggs that uh, is brown. This is brown when you cook it, right? So that part is really interesting, but you're going to get to see it come all together. Keep the thumbs up. Make sure you've given a thumbs up as you came in. If you did not give a thumbs up, make sure you back out to give a thumbs up and then come back in. Let's make, during this live, let's make sure that the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. I'm putting a wet paper towel underneath my cutting board. If you do that, it will prevent your cutting board from slipping and sliding all over the place. It helps. <laughs> It does help. Oh yeah, now that's looking gorgeous. I feel like, you wanna look at it? Look at that, beautiful, right? Ooh, wait, here, here's what I'll do. You might be able to see it better if we do this. Now come in, come on in. That's the gravy you all are familiar with. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you see it. Come on in, y'all. Yes, that's it. And here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna make sure that it has the flavor that I'm looking for. I'm just gonna taste it just a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good every time. So now, what I want you all to do, and like I said, please don't be afraid to use extra cornstarch if you don't get that consistency of the thick gravy that you're looking for, okay? 
So now one thing you're going to notice about me when I'm in here cooking, after I use an ingredient, it gets put to the side of me. That way I know that I've used it. The things that I haven't used is still over here. Like for instance, my vegetables are here. I know that I gotta use them, right? So we're gonna go ahead and open them. I'm gonna check and see how much time my rice has to go. My rice has about seven minutes to go, okay? Oh, thank you, Ron. Yes, Tommy, it is such a perfect gravy and it's so, it's so much fun to make. Yo, I'm gonna rewash my hands since I flipped my hair over. It's a little hot in this kitchen. Make sure the heat is not on in here. Go turn the air on. All right, I'm washing my hands, everybody. I know there's like the food police in here. So I'm washing my hands. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So now, uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about when I come back is how much oil we're gonna use to cook our egg foo young. Now I'm gonna have the camera come in nice and close, right? To see how much oil we're gonna be using. So now take a look in, into the pan while I grab a nice bowl here. Okay, let me see, I'll move it around. Can you see how much we're using? It's not a whole lot, but honestly, it's a nice amount, right? Yeah, it is. So now, come here, come here, y'all. We're gonna take our meat and our sauteed onions, they've cooled down. Uh, and, you know, they, they're not steaming hot right now. Not, not at all, okay? So I'm putting them into a large bowl, and then, I'm gonna add my desired amount of mixed vegetables. My mixed vegetables contain uh, peas, carrots, corn, green beans, okay? That's what this has. So we're gonna put a nice amount in there, just like so. And let's see, this is a 12 ounce bag, I'm gonna use the whole bag. You bet I am. And I'm gonna use about six large eggs. Now, if your meat wasn't cool enough, the reason why I say we have to cool it down, let's talk about it really quickly, is if you put hot meat and hot onions into your egg foo young, you're going to create scrambled eggs. When, you know. So, these cold vegetables will help to assist cooling your meat and your onions down. Let's mix it all together. And then we're going to get our eggs out. All depending on how many you want to make. And, and I can definitely tell you this. This is great for leftovers. You know how you, know how you just can't re-eat something? You know, like it's good when it's done. And then later, you don't want to have to um, heat it up. Right, because you're like, I, I should have had it when it was done. That's not the case for this. This is great to reheat up. It's great to have it the next day, tomorrow. Okay, there's just some dishes that's good to have as leftovers. This is it. You're going to be proud and happy to take some of this tomorrow to work if you work tomorrow. Okay, so now if we fill the mixture, it's nice and cool. I'm going to grab my eggs out and we're going to mix in eggs and then I'm going to show you. Um, the consistency of what everything looks like. Dude, that looks like a lot of filling. It is. It is. You're the best, Gina. Thank you, Derwin. Derwin, what? I didn't see your last name. Okay, y'all. So I'm grabbing my eggs. Right back, guys. 
Okay, everybody, I'm back. Okay, so now, here's what we're going to do. Everything's nice and cooled down, okay? Take your eggs, how, however many you want, okay? You might just need three or four for your family, okay? I'm going to use six because I know these guys, they can eat a lot. And I, I might, I have to be honest, I might eat two. All right, go ahead and crack your eggs right into the mixture. Oh, yeah, you bet. Okay, if you want, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl so I can crack it into a separate bowl. It's honestly, it's always safe to crack your eggs into a separate bowl just to make sure it's nice and fresh, just to make sure you ain't got, you know, no eggshells, right? There's two, or there's three. Here's four. Oh yeah. Here's five and six. I feel like my timer should have went off for my uh, rice. Let me check and see. I hear it's still ticking over there, y'all. Okay, I got two minutes. All right, so now let's turn the, um, turn your oil up. We're gonna put the oil on medium, me, between medium and medium hot. One thing I don't want you all to do when you make this recipe is go walk that way. Stay near it, and if your legs are tired, just pull up the seat. Pull up the seat and you can rest and just kind of watch it from afar, okay? Just stay near it. Okay, so we got six eggs. Let's go ahead and mix it just like so in this manner. Okay. Oh, this, this recipe, y'all, this is fun. It's interesting. And like I said, so somebody said, is it, is it kind of like an omelet, Gina? It, it can be considered an Asian omelet, maybe, but it don't taste like it. It tastes better than any American omelet you can even think of. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I'm a person that don't like eggs. I like to cook them. I have the time of my life cooking eggs. But I'm not a fan of eating them. But this recipe, I could eat all of it. Okay, so take a look how interesting the filling is. It's thick, right? It's thick. It's frothy. It's kind of weird looking, Gina. You bet it is, but it's good. Wait till it get inside that belly. Okay, so there is the timer. Let me know that my rice is done. I'm gonna check my rice, and it's, since it's done, we're gonna get started frying up our egg foo young. I hope y'all are ready. Ooh, this rice looks beautiful. Okay, so we got some gorgeous rice here. Thank you, Lord. I'm just gonna set the rice aside. Okay. That part, done. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to rinse out my uh, measuring cup because I'm going to pour my gravy into that cup. Let's see how hot the oil is. When your oil has to be nice and hot. If your oil isn't hot, this will not form into what we want it to be. It's almost like a hamburger patty. It will look in shape like a hamburger patty. It's not gonna go out like this, okay? But I need you to turn your heat up, you know, fairly high. Medium, medium hot, okay? We wanna make, it, it, here's the thing. If you wanna make yours small, that's fine, right? It's absolutely fine. I like to make mine about like this and give each person two of them. Okay, so that's how I like to serve them. Okay, I'm gonna look at the comments. So if you guys wanna say something to me that I may have missed, I have the perfect time to read the comments while I wait on this oil to get hot. What do you, what do you guys gotta say? Anybody have anything interesting to say? You thumbs up when you came in. Thank you, Pauline. You was too, <laughs> thank you. Cat Slat, how you doing? Thank you, Ron Wilson. Darium, hello. Christy Fowler, hello. Jared, hello. You're making a meatloaf 
today. Now, are you making the healthy meatloaf? We're on a roll here. We're just waiting on oil to get nice and hot so we can get started. I'm going to even um, have you guys take another look in at this so you can see just how thick it's gotten. If you have a little ramekin, a little tiny bowl, or if you have a, a measuring cup, round it out because that's what I'm going to use to measure out my egg bouillon. I have three-fourths of a cup, and I'm going to use this to pick up my mixture. And when I put it into my oil, I'm going to put it in real nice and easy so that it stays in a patty, okay? Make sure your gravy was turned off. Shrimp egg full young, says Christy, okay. Not today, you have veal and beef. Okay, yeah, that's fine. If you love veal, you love beef, if that's what you want, absolutely, you make sure it's cooked, okay? Don't put it in there raw. All right, we're moving in the right direction. And my oil is almost hot, okay? I do, Angela, thank you, said that I have ham in mind. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sharon, Corey, hello. What's your name? A Erica B, hello, a spice drawer is nice. Then you don't have to search for it. Yeah, you need to come over and make the spice drawer for me. Come make it for me, and then I'll have the spice drawer. <laughs> Turkey tacos, that, that actually sounds really good. Dina, could you make egg rolls? Absolutely. I can do a video showing you all how to make egg rolls. I can pretty much make any kind of egg roll. You know, I really thought about making a crab egg roll. I feel like a crab egg roll would be delicious. Dina, do you season the egg mixture? Um, what I like to do, um, you know how when I'm cooking eggs, I like to tell you all, don't put um, salt in something while it's cooking because it, it'll draw water out. What I'm gonna do when it's done cooking, I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Just going to sprinkle it with salt and pepper. If you want to put your salt and pepper in the inside, absolutely you can. Okay, taco egg rolls. Rudy, that sounds really interesting. It, it does. It sounds interesting. Plus, when you pour it into the pan, you want to be careful because it's not fun being hit by the hot grease, says Tommy. Yes. Crab egg rolls. Yes, Miss Karen, it does sound good, right? But pretty much, okay, Derek, okay, you said Lynette is saying, Derek Gina says she will go live on her healthy channel. She'll let us know. Absolutely, I am. I'm going to let you all know. Actually, I just did something before I went live. They told me to, like, accept something, and I accepted it, and they said within 48 hours I should be able to go live. So, so we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you updated, okay? But I did something, they was about, they, they had me fill out like a consent. <laughs> so I think maybe in 48 hours, I may be able to go live over there on that channel. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm putting the mixture and making sure you grab the egg as well. Don't just grab the uh, veggies, okay? We got nice hot oil. Check me out, y'all, like really check me out here. We're going in just like so. What I need you to do, we got to keep it in a circle. Okay, so if at all means, you go ahead and you push it into a circle just like so. Okay, if you want to put extra egg, go ahead. It's just fine. Look at that. It's going to start sizzling up. Listen here, this is one exciting recipe. You're going to be excited. Your family's going to love you for this recipe. We're throwing another one in. Nice and gently, I'm gonna put some more egg mixture right on top, okay? If they run together, don't stress out. Just pull them apart from each other, okay? 
So now we literally have one right here. We're not looking for this to remain yellow. We want it to turn brown and fry up, and it's gorgeous. Like I said, for the person that's asking about the seasoning, season it now if you want. Season it when it comes out like I'm going to do, if you want, okay? So for now, we're just going to do two. Okay, I'm going to keep that heat going, and we'll flip these babies over just like so in a minute. And then I still have mixture here, so we can make a couple more. Okay? Oh, you said it looks delicious? Okay. Oh, uh, Eula says, I made crab salad today, and it was good. Okay. That sounds good. Crab salad sounds delicious. Here's what I want to do. I want to put this over here, y'all. I'm putting it on my larger stove. I feel like I need a little bit more heat than what this flat top can give me. Okay, so when I'm ready to flip it, we're going to bring the whole camera over this way to show you what we got, okay? I'm going to get a cookie sheet out so that we can drain our egg full youngs, all right? Well, I get a cookie sheet and a cooling wrap. When they come out, we'll lay them on here to drain them from oil. If you don't have that, you can use a paper towel, but what you really, really want is to make sure that you drain it free from oil because it's cooking in a lot of oil, okay? All right, this is doing exactly what I want it to do. Okay, it's cooking better. Come on, come on over. Come on over, y'all. You can see what's happening. You can see. I tell you what, it's sure exciting. It is sure exciting. Make it for your family. Y'all, listen, even the little kids like this recipe. And it's hard to get little kids to like a recipe. You see it cooking up? That's what you want. It's popping. It's popping and locking over here. And it smells good. We got the rice. We got the beautiful gravy. I can see that it's getting golden brown at the bottom. Can you see that? But it's not what we want just yet. Keep letting it cook. Oh, 
fall apart on you. If they do, just make it into two. Do you understand? If yours is too big, cut that baby into two. Okay? And, and then nobody knows that it broke on you. Okay? But this, no matter what it is, you know, if it breaks apart or it stays together, it's delicious. Like I said, if you flipped it over and it broke on you, cut it in half and serve it as two pieces. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, my husband's going to get so excited. Yes, he is. He loves, I introduced my husband to H3O. In the first, you're starving. <laughs> the first time I introduced it to him, he said, I don't want that. You know, because you get it from the Asian markets, this big brown thing, and he's like, I don't know about that. He tried it, and he said, you got to be kidding me. And I told him, no. He said, I love it. Right, but he just he he tried this from me years ago. Ate the whole plate, but he just doesn't remember because I don't make it a lot. But he gonna remember today because he's having it today. Ooh -wee. Okay, it's cooking up just beautifully. And so you see that using this three fourth of a cup gives you a nice size one. If you wanted to, go ahead and slice it into two. Go ahead, slice it into two, serve it as two pieces, okay? I'm going to put mine onto here, but then I'll come back and we'll put some more into our pan. Somebody, somebody is exciting. Somebody is excited right now. I know it too. I know. Come on, come on. Here's what we're going to do. Come on, y'all. Let's get some more going. Try your best to keep it into the circle. Do what you can, you know. Do what you can. There you go. We got this little bit. We ain't gonna waste it, right? Okay. It's gonna bubble. It's gonna steam. It's gonna make all kind of popping noises. But I tell you what, it's so worth it. Ooh. Now, for the person that wants to season them, salt and pepper if you want. Okay. Look at this. A little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, not a lot. Don't get crazy with it because your gravy is so flavorful. There's the black pepper. <laughs> yes, yes, there it is. There, whoop, there it is. <laughs> yes, and take a look at the gravy. The gravy's just waiting patiently like Gina. I can't wait to get poured over top of that egg foo young. <laughs> I'm starved, says Cat Flat. <laughs> Oh, guys, I love y'all. Thank you. Okay, so I have Dee Dee Lowe here. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. If you are new, welcome to my live. I'm going live again on Saturday, and I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to be doing fried chicken. On Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's going to be so much fun. It is. We're going to have the time of our lives doing another live cooking session. Absolutely. Okay, we got rice done. I'm gonna bring my rice into the equation and I'll show you how I like to serve it up. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is so exciting. I love shrimp April Young, says um, Beth. Okay. Deborah Brown, how you doing? Are the veggies fully cooked? They're perfectly cooked. They are perfectly cooked. They're going to have just a little crunch. Not a crunch, but they're not mushy. Just put it that way. They're perfectly done. And the onions, of course, we had to cook them ahead of time to make sure that they're cooked. Thank you, my holy king. Thank you. Hey, I tried to. All right, I feel like these can be turned over. Well, let me look. I don't know where I put my Here it is. I'm going to bring these. Might be time. Oh, it's time to turn. And, and did you all see that quick turn that we did? 
turn it quickly. You're going to have stuff fall out, but if it does, don't worry. Oh, man, this looks good. Okay. We're, we're in the right direction. Okay. Dinner's almost served. We got the beautiful rice here. We got gorgeous gravy. Can, can somebody look at the gravy? So good. I'd love to show you the consistency again. Okay, now that it's cooled down and all that steam is out the way. Look at this. Can you imagine this on top of your uh, egg foo young and your rice? <laughs> look. Yes, I'm going in. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Delicious. Latoya, hello. You wonder, did Christopher get the neck bones? Okay. All right, almost done here. So now what I had to do for the second batch, I literally had to turn the heat down. And the reason why is because my oil was really, really hot. So when I put the second batch in, turn the oil down so you don't burn your second batch. Because that oil, oh, it's steaming hot. So just turn it down and cook it a little bit lower than you did the first batch. Because like I said, your oil is so hot right now. Purple love, hello. Oh, the dark gravy hit different. I tell you what, Saj, this gravy is good. It is. I think it's just um, in your mind. In your mind. You know, seriously, because we love that brown gravy. Like, we love the look of it, right? But if I were to put kitchen bouquet into here and turn it brown, kitchen bouquet doesn't let off any um, flavor. It just gives color. So you could do that to yours to make it brown. Right? All right, I'm taking this one out. Ooh -wee. And I got one more.
when uh, you're done cooking, nobody wants to clean up the kitchen, right? So if you clean up things as you go, it really, really, really helps you in the long run, okay, to not be stressed out. Okay, give me one second, y'all. I just want to pat my face a little because it's hot back there behind the stove. And uh, just patting my face a little so I'm not so oily on my face. Okay, I'm coming around. We're going to say an amazing prayer right now. And then we're going to serve our dinner. So I'm going to go ahead, put salt and pepper onto the ones that just came out. Just a little bit. Those of you that can't use salt or you just don't want to, you don't have to. Look at this. Four huge ones. You can make them smaller if you want. Okay? Look at that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I'd like to thank you for this gorgeous meal today. I thank you, Lord, for the gift you've given me to share with the world. I thank you, Lord, for everybody in this chat, everybody that has come in this chat. I thank you for everyone that will come into this chat. No weapons formed against any of us shall prosper. We bind the evil devil away from us in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone in this chat that is my extended family. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts to make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again, let's make a plate. Y'all want to eat? Y'all want to eat? Amen, amen, amen. Absolutely. Now for the person or the people that cooked with me, let me know, did you think it was easy? Did you think it was easy? And then when you give it a try. Okay, Drew, thank you for coming in. Um, when you try this, the people that cooked with me or the person that cooked with me, let me know what you think of this recipe. I am going all in on this recipe now. You're going to get to see it. Hold on, if I can. Okay. Watch how I'm going to serve it. Watch how I'm going to serve it. So now, when I make my husband um, Asian food, I always like to serve his Asian food with fresh iceberg lettuce. It's not traditional for April Young. It's just something that we like to do. So I'm going to show you how I like to present it. Okay? War Sugai is served with fresh iceberg lettuce. And I love, I, I love that. So the, I, I just like to put the fresh lettuce on the side. Like I said, egg pu young is not typically served with fresh lettuce. Okay? So now let's grab some rice, and I need a nice spoon. Y'all don't look at my outfit, because I didn't come dressed today. I just, I just threw it on. I just threw anything on. <laughs> I did. All right, there's the rice, beautiful rice. Or you may have white rice on the side of yours. <clears throat> We're going to get one of these egg pouillons. Oh, you bet we are. I, I know which one I'm going in for. I want this one. Look, look how you can pick it up. Isn't that interesting? It's so different than an omelet. You pick an omelet up like that, it goes flat everywhere. So look. Oh, my goodness. Listen here. Okay? Oh, this is all exciting. Okay, and now for the gravy. Check it out. Come on, y'all. Come on with the camera. Can I get the camera action? Look at 
that. <laughs> Somebody out there is all excited right now. If you're excited, I love to see a crazy comment <laughs> in the comment section because this deserves a wild comment because of the way this looks. Look at this. That's how you serve it. Oh, that's it. light away from me the other light look y'all this Mildred <laughs> the cartwheels look at the fresh let yo listen somebody somebody's all excited and you should be I just gave you all a jewel a gym recipe look at that oh yes Yes, yes, uh-huh. What happened? Okay. <clears throat> I'm missing the comments, y'all. What happened? Ain't no way. Ain't no way with her hand. What is that? What are you saying? Oh, let me see. Something's wrong with my messages, y'all. I got Cat Slats messages stuck. Okay, let's see. What did you do something with these messages? <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. What happened? Did you touch it or something? What? 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 Well, it could be something that you're doing to the to the phone. <clears throat> That's why I told you don't mess with this. Um. Okay, you hope hope yours turns out like that. It will. And I tell you what, let me let me show you again. Oh, y'all, it's on my stomach. <laughs> It looks like, don't it look like a pork chop? No, what I'm saying, on my end, Cat Slats messages is stuck, is, is stuck at the bottom. I'm going to erase Cat Slats message, and uh, it will... Let's see, hold on, y'all. Okay, it should work now. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'll tell you what I ain't gonna worry one second about it. It's like, it's like Cat Slats messages highlighted. <laughs> I love that YouTube shirt, Gina. <laughs> maybe, maybe they like the comment and they're keeping it there. Okay, so if I can get this camera we're gonna taste it y'all look at that 
Somebody is all excited. It does. It looks like a pork chop. Y'all, so tantalizing. Here, here's what's interesting about this recipe. What? You said, whoa. Um, what's interesting about it, and I'm so serious about this. You know how we use a nice amount of oil? Don't think this is oily. As long as your oil is nice and hot, this will not be oily. But if your oil was not hot enough, it'll be oily. Mm. I'm going to give you a bite. I'm about to give you some right now. With the gravy and all, on top of a piece of lettuce. Oh, it's falling everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Go ahead, take a bite. <coughs> Let me know. You're at the door right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going in. Mmm. 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 Let me have a paper towel. <coughs> you said, I guess there's something on her end with your name. Oh, we'll figure it out. I wouldn't worry about it. <clears throat> a little bit of rice with the gravy. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Mm -mm. Y'all, th this. <clears throat> this egg foo young is absolutely gorgeous, right? <clears throat> Latika, how you doing? Mmm, 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 mmm. You said so good. <coughs> Make you choke. No, it don't. I think I was eating it so fast it went down the wrong pipe. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, I never had a dish so easy to make, yet so delicious. Look at this. I got some water. I'm going to drink some water. Like I said, I felt like, I felt like when I took that first bite that I ate it so fast. I'm going in. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. If you want to know how to make it, whatever it is, Gina's going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you. That's what I'm here for. Mm, mm, mm. 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 So, you get the vegetables. You can taste that sweet corn. The green beans, the peas and the carrots. The chicken gravy is absolutely amazing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Don't, it don't taste nothing like an omelet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, y'all. Mm. I'm so happy with this recipe. You're gonna be happy with it too. Great question. My vegetables were halfway thawed. They were like i i purchased them this morning and like probably an hour before i started the video i put them in the refrigerator so when i took them out of the refrigerator they were kind of thawed out just a little but yet they were frozen and when you make this recipe they can be kind of thawed kind of frozen it, it really doesn't matter it's not going to matter in the texture of your egg full young look at that Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
you somebody just don't know. Mmm. 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 Mm. Look at the gravy. Look at the gravy. Oh. Mm. This is it. Let me see. gravy in my rice let me show you I put some gravy in my rice can you see it oh yeah I did mm. Denise I can't Denise I can't stop mm, mm, mm. You always make everything look so good. I try my best. Gina, I'm hungry. You ate nothing all day. Your right inner thigh hurts. Oh my goodness. It's causing you pain in your right hip and down your right knee. So I'm just staying in my room with my leg up. Now, what leg is it? It's not your left leg, is it? <laughs> Latika. Latika, you are so funny. Thank you for coming in, Latika. Latika says, let me in, Gina. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. There's the gravy. <laughs> mm. It's your right leg. Okay. Mm. I see when I was making my plate that there was somebody that said that they needed prayer. Is that person's name Nadine? Can you speak up if your name is Nadine? I feel like I've seen the message as I was making my plate. Can I, can I see what your name is? Praying for you as well, Mildred. In Jesus Christ's name, that you're healed from the pain that Mildred has in her leg in the sweet name of Jesus. Lord, and we just thank you ahead of time for hearing and answering this prayer. Please take care of Mildred in Jesus Christ's name. I believe it was Nellie. Oh, no, you don't want that. You don't want to fall. Well, Heavenly Father, you know who that person was. I feel like the name was Nilly or Nellie. I pray for them in Jesus Christ's name. And Lord, you know what they need before I even know. And I pray that you take care of that person. Take care of that person's needs, Lord. Take care of her family. Help her if she's in, if she's in pain, if she's hurting. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I thank you ahead of time for hearing and answering this prayer. Amen. <clears throat> I'm here, it's Nilly. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought I seen it. <clears throat> I felt like I was making my plate. I seen the message and then I sat down, but then it just came back to me like Gina. <sighs> yes, okay, great. Look at the y'all, look at this bite. This is the bite that you want. Come on. Come on. Hold on, but look at this side. Oh, me, oh my. Here's the thing. I'm missing your question, okay. Let me go back and see, Derek. Is Keith, no. Keith is different. Quiche has pie crust at the bottom, and it's more Americanized. It does not, it's not served with the gravy. It's not served with anything but itself. It, it, it does have, quiche does have an egg filling, you know, possibly with bacon or sausage, onions and bell peppers, and maybe even potatoes, right? But you do put it into a pie, a, um, like a, a pie crust, and bake it. So it's completely different, right? Quiche is delicious, but 
I have to be honest and say Keisha ain't got nothing on this here. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. It is. Mm. Derek, I know you would love it. Mm. Mildred, I wonder if you have a sci sciatic nerve pain. Jared, I feel like I'm going to make fried chicken on Saturday. I'm just not sure. Um, but I'm leaning more towards like a fried chicken dinner. When I went live on Monday, a lot of people were saying, yes, do fried chicken. So I think that's what I might do. Oh, you said you're ordering? Hold on. Janice, you're ordering. Don't order it just yet. <laughs> That's why I said, I think. I'm going to for sure you in a community post whether I'm doing fried chicken or not. I feel like with it being Wednesday, it's a little too early for me to, to, to be for sure. I'm definitely going to be for sure um, Friday morning if I'm doing uh, fried chicken on Saturday, okay? So I definitely wouldn't order it yet. What if I turn around and I don't do it and you didn't picked up your ingredients? I don't want that to happen. That's why I said, I think, I think I may be cooking fried chicken on, you know, on Saturday, okay? But what I will definitely do is do a community post between uh, tomorrow between tomorrow and Friday, you'll see a community post going up, letting you know what I'm making and all of the ingredients you're gonna need we can cook together, okay? All right, I promise you. But don't go out and get it today. <laughs> Cause I might not be making it. But if I do, I'll put it in the community post. Okay, Linda, thank you. Linda Garner, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's what I always say. Tell your family and friends. Tell everybody you know about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing here in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're making some good food over here. And also on our new channel, Healthy Recipes over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now here's a piece right here. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's the gravy, y'all. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. That big thing. I ate it all, y'all. I can't eat the rice. Y'all know I'm diabetic, right? So I can't eat the rice. I put it on there, but um, I can't eat the rice. Y'all. The eggful young was outstanding. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. So Derek says for Memorial Day, Gina, how don't you how about you do like some barbecue chicken on the grill? I think that's something that I would absolutely love to do. Thank you, Char. The rice looks good. It was. Yes, be careful, Mildred. We don't want you to fall and hurt yourself. My goodness. Oh, you'll be working? Okay, so you made salmon patties with potatoes, and it was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Tell the people in the chat. Tell the people in the chat you made my salmon patties with the potato, and you loved it. You better tell somebody. I, you know, honestly, on a serious note, I love when y'all share, you know, with the chat, with the world, that you made something of mine and you enjoyed it. Because there's always people that wonder. There's so many people that watch and they just wonder, like, is it really good? You know, but when you guys share your testimony stories, like, Gina, I made your so-and-so, and it was outstanding. That lets, that's what lets the people know. You know? That is good. 
You have to work. Oh, the dogs need to use the bathroom. Can you take them out, please? Oh, Valencia was so good. Can you have brown rice? Absolutely, I can have brown rice. Mm-hmm, I can have brown rice. You can do like a quinoa with it, brown rice, or you can just serve it with um, lettuce if you wanted to. And honestly, also if you wanted to, you can just serve Eggful Young by itself. As long as you have the gravy, listen here, your taste buds are gonna be satisfied. see yes it is it's so good I'm getting a lot of messages that are that is being held for review and YouTube will hold the message for review if they think it's a comment that's not acceptable so I'm seeing a lot of comments like on my end you all won't see it but on my end it's like erased out a little bit it's highlighted and it tells me that it's being held for review if your message goes to hell for review, I'm thinking that it's a mean message and YouTube is not allowing it. I never go and check my help for review messages. It is good, Denise. Denise Billups, it's so tasty. See, I'm going to have to figure out this thing with these messages. I'm not seeing anybody's message for some odd reason. I'm not, give me my computer so I can see if people are messaging me. I don't see anybody's message, y'all. Might be something going on with YouTube, but I don't see a message. Only message I see right now is a cat slap. Turn it down. It's cat slap right now saying, I love your YouTube shirt at 524. I don't see any other messages. They're coming. They're coming? So what's wrong with this here? It's, it's not. This is the same message. I'm not seeing anybody's messages. Let, let me see what we got. You said, oh no. What's happening, y'all? Remember when my live went dead that one day? Okay. So my Holy King says trolls. And Deborah says, oh no. I can see it on my computer. But uh, on the device, you can go that way. But on the device, I don't see anything. I may have to get off of here. Oh, you saw the color purple trailer. I probably have to get off. My messages are messed up. He said it was messed up when I came around here, but I don't know why he didn't say nothing to me. We were all messaging you. I don't see anything. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. Where I can't see anybody's message. 
You can't go in the live. You gotta tell me when something's going wrong. Come on, y'all. Can you guys comment real quick? Okay, I gotta work. Just put your head to it. Put your head to it. Put your head to it. Take the time to put your head to it. This is your fresh. I know I got a very, very, very smart son. You just do a lot of stupid stuff. What? Those okay, y'all, I'm coming. This is yours. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, y'all. It's fixed. Yes, it's fixed. I thought I was going to have to get off of here. I can see your message, Derek. Hello. No issues. Yes. Dakota done did something, y'all. He was playing with the camera when I was... I seen him. I seen him. He was playing with the camera when he was recording me. I kept seeing him do something like this. I'm like, what is he doing? And then when I came over here, all I saw was cat slat. And I'm like, what the heck's happening? I'm going to have to get off live. All right, we're back. <laughs> he was messing. He, uh -huh, Derek said he was messing with us. Yeah. He was. Yeah. 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 So, so today was Dakota's last day of school, y'all. They let him out an hour or They said, bad Dakota. <laughs> bad Dakota. <laughs> All right, we got it fixed, yay. Um, I don't know what my last message was, but I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Jenny O is laughing, Miss Karen's laughing. Oh, but they let him out an hour early. And we heard, we heard a, something at the door, and it was him. He said they let us out an hour early. So today was his last day, and he's all excited. Did you heat your gravy up? Yep. Okay, enjoy. Ah. Enjoy. Put you some salt. Put you a little bit of salt on your egg for young. Okay. Heat is fixed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Happy Wednesday to everybody. Can you show us how to make General Tso's chicken and rice, and you'll be going live on Monday? Oh, when I go live on Monday, let's see. Can you show us how to make General Tso's chicken and rice? And will you be going live on Monday? Robert, I am going live on Monday. Good night, Erica. Thank you for coming in. Um, I will be going live on Monday. For now on, as far as I know, it's going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays when I go live. Okay? I will show you how to make a General Tso's. I feel like General Tso's can be like a recipe that we could make on a on a weekend because it takes a little bit longer and maybe we could do like an egg roll and a rice with it like you said so i will do that i don't know when i'm gonna do it but i'll do it okay oh thank you marcia marcia's praying for mildred thank you marcia Gina, you can eat a half a cup of white rice Oh, I know, I know, I don't want it though. I don't want it though, because I'm watching my waistline. You know, um, I, I don't want it, I don't want to. You know, I, I feel like um, I spent a lot of money on my surgery and I'm doing everything to, um, to eat healthy. Like I said, you see I put the rice on my plate, but I ain't eat it. <laughs> you know, um, I'm doing everything to eat healthy, live a healthy lifestyle. Uh, working out and things like that so and also I'm diabetic so I have to watch my rice intake so but I tell you what when I want some rice I don't deprive myself of it I'll have a little bit but then I'll know how much you know I can have and how much I can't have you know it, okay if you do barbecue chicken on the grill for memorial will you include instructions for the oven absolutely I always do I always do. Uh, it does cat slat. It turns into sugar. Absolutely. Um, 
uh, no, remember, Ron, we can't, ain't no singing, ain't no singing, they don't allow it, they don't allow you to do it on, on YouTube, um, like, for instance, when I made the ribs, when I made the ribs on the grill, at the same time I was telling people that was cooking with me um, how to cook them in the oven. So we had people in the background, like you all, that was cooking, that didn't want to cook it on the grill. They were cooking them in the oven and I was giving instructions, right? So we started everything all together, but when it was time for us to either put them in the oven or on the grill, I would say, if you're putting them in the oven, do this. If you're cooking them on the grill, follow me with this. You know, so I'm always making sure that, um, I'm always making sure that I kind of help everybody, okay? I, I just might do the barbecue chicken on the grill. All, here's the thing, all depending on, all depending on the weather. Because, you know, I don't want to be out in 89 degrees weather. I know we got some 89 degrees coming up. Uh, and, and, and like some really, really high record numbers, you know, with the weather coming up. What are you working on right now? Okay, I need to see that while you're working it. Um, so, as long as it's not real, real, real hot, I'll be all for it. We can do it, okay? Okay, so Saj says, some barbecue chicken thighs, plain fried rice sounds good. It, it does. Yes, it does. Now, if I'm cooking a barbecue, I will typically do like a cold salad. I feel like I would like to do like a pasta salad, right? Or maybe in a t some type of Italian pasta salad. Because barbecue takes a lot out of you. I'm ready for the bite, says Latika. Um... Barbecue takes a lot out of you. So I may just make like a pasta salad. Maybe some deviled eggs on the side and call it a night. You know, and maybe throw together a quick dessert for y'all. Y'all can see me make a dessert. And if it's nice out, we can go sit out back. Now what we did, um, oh, you said corn? Okay. Pesto pasta salad sounds good, phases of Angie. Okay, it, it actually does. And I feel like the type of noodle, if I were to make a pesto pasta salad, I would use the um, oroncente. Um, I, I believe I'm saying it right. Oroncente noodle. And it's, it's the cutest noodle ever, right? Oron, oroncente um, stands for, um, I think it stands for lamb's ear. Right? I, I think I learned that. I, I think I did. If I'm wrong, somebody quote me. I thought it stood for a little la lamb's ear or something like that because it looks like a lamb's ear, but it's like this small. But it'll be able to hold that pesto in it. Drink some water. Well, I got water. <laughs> mm. Secret homemade sauce. I typically don't make my barbecue sauces, although I know how. One day I'll show you all how I like to make a homemade barbecue sauce. But 90% of the time, 98% of the time when I'm doing barbecue, I just pick up a bottle of barbecue sauce. I've never been let down by a barbecue sauce that I ain't love. You know what I mean? I've never had the, the want or the need to make my own when I can go buy the bottle by itself. Do you understand? I, sometimes I feel like you can work yourself hard if you want to, right? But why do it when you can go out and purchase a bottle of barbecue sauce for a dollar something? And they're delicious, right? Okay, you use Hamilton Beach Grill cooking. Oh, oh, oh you've been using it for uh, 30 years, okay. You love sweet baby rays? Okay. Uh, Mary says, I'm knocking. I'm at the door, Gina. I'm there. I would love y'all. Well, I already already showed y'all. I showed y'all how to make my um, fruit pie. 
where I do the cookie crust. It's like a, a sugar cookie crust. We do uh, fruit, fresh fruit on the top. And then I make like, um, it's like a cream cheese icing. You put that on top of the cool cookie. And it's like a big cookie, a big sugar cookie, like the size of a pizza. You bake it and you mix cream cheese with powdered sugar and you spread it on top of your cookie. And you put the fresh fruit on it and you slice it like a pizza and the world goes nuts over it. And they're like, oh, heck no, you're gonna make that again. Can I take some home? Those are comments that you're gonna hear because it's so delicious. I might make that for y'all because you guys think it's so exciting. I actually did a live cooking session showing y'all how to make that, if you remember. Did I turn the microphone off? It sounds delicious. Okay, Derek, I think, I think we're gonna go exactly what you said, the barbecue chicken on Memorial Day. Most welcome. Thank you, Cat Slap. I feel like, I, I kind of feel like I want to go swimming. <laughs> I do, I do. Our pool, our pool opens up here very soon. And I want to, y'all, I want to get in some water. I want to get in some water. Y'all know I love water. I love water. And, and I am torn between this house and trying to figure out if we want to put a pool in this house. I don't think this is the house that we want to put a pool in. I don't think this is the yard for a pool. But yet, we want a pool. We may have to sell this and find another house that has the perfect yard where we can put a pool, an in-ground pool. Add a little liquid smoke. Yes, you can. Oh, thank you, Marquise. Thank you. Gina, how's the weather there now? Is it warm or hot out there? It's hot. It's been in the 80s. High 80s. Mid 80s. So like 85. It's been like 85. I know we got some 88 and some 89s coming. So that's what the weather's been. It's been great. It has. It's been great. Singapore noodles. I don't believe I have. Uh, my Holy King says, Latanya Lewis, Lord, hear her, heal her father, touch him, restore him, deliver him from any sickness and infirmities. Um, Lord, renew his mind, body, and soul in the name of Jesus. Oh, amen. It's 89 there. Okay. What's your next dish on the healthy channel? Um, I was thinking that I was going to do a beautiful stir fry. It's what I was thinking, but that doesn't mean that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be releasing a video tomorrow on that channel. And on that, in, in that video, I'm asking you all for a request for uh, healthy recipes that you all would like to be seeing made on that channel. So that video will be released tomorrow. And when it's released, what I want you all to do, if you'd like to see something healthy made, message me in, message me in that video and tell me what you want to see be made on that channel. And I'm make it for you. I'm gonna write it down, I'm gonna put it on a to-do list. <coughs> <clears throat> and I'm gonna make it. So let me tell y'all about this. Ron, Ron, you can vouch for what I'm about to say. <clears throat> Remember a couple of months back, I had, the, I had a cough <clears throat> that I couldn't get rid of. The cough has came back and I'm getting the wheezing sound again in my chest. So I'm wondering if I need to go back to my doctor <clears throat> So that they can give me some more of the uh, steroids that they gave me to take for those 10 days. Remember they gave me like allergy medicine. Um, they gave me my inhaler. They told me to use that three times a day. Um, so, and, and the cough mysteriously left. But the cough's back now. I got a knot in my hair, y'all. I got a knot in my hair. You see it? I do. 
I, I have delicious shrimp fried rice recipes and they're easy to make. Yes, they are. Oh, thank you, Cat Slat. That's really nice of you. Yours is back. Is that right, pollen? Pollen, maybe. Maybe it's the pollen. You have asthma when you get a cough. You have to, I, 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 might, I might use my inhaler tonight. I have the flow vent. The flow vent is to prevent the asthma attack. And then I have the albuterol to stop the asthma attack. But I know uh, the flow vent should open my airway up. I'll use that and then I'll use an allergy pill tonight, a prescribed allergy pill. And then um, I see my doctor on June 1st. I'll let them know to see if I need those steroids again because this cough has came back. You're congested too, but you're assuming it's pollen. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Which one is that? Is that Egg Foo Young? Okay. Good night, Janice. Thank you for coming in and joining. It could be the pollen. It's all, it, it just, it feels like, let me put the camera down. It feels like it's right here. Like, I just feel something right here. And it just feels like some, I don't know if I want to say congested. I don't know what, what. It's hard to explain. <clears throat> but it, it, it's almost like you feel like something, like, I don't, I don't know. You feel like phlegm is in your, like, in your throat. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. That's why I told the doctors. I say I got a video for what, what, what I sound like when I'm wheezing, but I, it's hard for me to explain how I'm feeling, but every once in a while I'm coughing. But I'm not sick. Prednisone. Yeah, that's what they give me. Okay, so Gina, you have asthma. You have your inhaler. It can be pollen falling through there. It could be because y'all know we have the, um, what is this stuff back there called, y'all? Uh, my neighbor told me. Uh, what did he say it was? Honeysuckle. So we got honeysuckle back there, and it's letting the white stuff, sorry, y'all. It's letting the white stuff come off of the bushes or whatever back there. It may be that. But I tell you what, I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping we can fix this real quick. Because y'all remember I had that cough for about six months and it wasn't fun. Allergy season is bad this year. Okay. Like a dry, yeah, like a dry, like a dry cough. You remember how it was. Gina, can you get rid of, no, no, I can't get rid of the honeysuckle because it's in the forest. It's like a, it's like a forest. It's, it's like a barn that's back there. And um, it, 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 I, I don't want to get rid of it. I, you know, because it's all around us. Oh, uh, you remember, yep. That's okay. I'm going to go see the doctor on the first. Sounds like cotton. Is it right? That's a heavy pollinate. Oh, is that right? Because, I, you know, I ain't never had allergies, ever. Oh, I told y'all I was going to show y'all Prince. He's feeling good, y'all. He's looking good. He got a little tiny red spot that he's been biting at, like, kind of close to his tail right here. He's been nipping at that thing. And I told him, I said, Prince, you leave it alone. <laughs> I said, leave it alone. So I'm gonna wash him, I'm gonna wash him up tonight and put him in a warm bath. Uh, our dogs love a bath. I'm gonna put him in the warm bathtub. I'm gonna wash him up real good. The spot that I'm talking about on him is about, it's tiny, it's about, it's smaller than that, right? But um, I'm gonna wash him. I'm gonna put a thick layer of Vaseline on it so he don't mess with it. And um, uh, um, he's going to have another appointment to the vet. It might just be what they call hot spots on dogs. Um, but he, he looks great and he's feeling good. 
Honeysuckle will wipe you. Oh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I ain't had this issue never, ever before when I lived in Columbus, Ohio. I never even knew what Honeysuckle was until I came where we live now. <clears throat> Yes, M. Beasley. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. It's great. He's feeling better. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> Shonda, how you doing today? Thank you for coming in and joining us. <clears throat> I can't wait to get my hair done, y'all. I get my hair done on the 31st. Ooh. Yes, you have. On Monday, I showed the fish tank. I showed the fish tank on Monday. Was you here, Derek? <clears throat> That's what Mildred asked me. She said, get dreads. Are you sick? I feel like I'd be kind of cute with dreads, though. But they would have to be, y'all, I, I don't, I mean, I want, I think they would be kind of cute. I think they would be kind of cute. And I would love, I'm so serious. So I'm just laughing, but I'm serious. I would love not to be able to have to do my hair. Put it in dreads. It would be, I mean, I'd keep it up. I'd keep it up, keep up with it. They'd be, they'd be prestige, right? But I think they would be cute. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can see you in so. <laughs> Thank you. I always thought that I would look nice with a really short haircut. I'm talking about like short. I'm talking about short where the back is shaved and just a little bit on the top with the little curls. Oh, you were so late on Monday. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I showed the fish tank. Oh, Jenny O, how do you get the eyeliner so perfect? I practice. I practice like I'm nuts. But one thing I do is I close my eye. And look, let me show you. Watch my finger. You see how I pull my eye closed? Like that, Jenny O? Okay. So then I start right here and put a tiny bit of eyeliner right there. I make a hump. And then I come and drag it out into a triangle. Okay, so see how I'm holding my eye? See that? That's what I do. <clears throat> I don't open that eye when I'm doing my eyeliner. I start off little, I bring my hump up with the eyeliner, okay, and I drag it into, out this way, into a triangle. And then I color that triangle in. So I'm able to get that <clears throat> like that. But it, it took a lot of practice. And I use, let me tell you the eyeliner that I use. I use CoverGirl. I use CoverGirl. And it has an eraser on the end of it. And the, when I use the eraser, I'm using the eraser. Say this is the eraser. I'm using the eraser to make that perfect triangle when I bring it out. Up here, I use the eraser up here and here to make it perfect, right? See my eye moving? That's how I do it. But um, I also light my eyeliner with a lighter to make it darker because some eyeliners can dry out and when you use it on your skin, it, it, it don't turn out dark like it's supposed to. But if you light the eyeliner and sharpen it every time before you're getting ready to use it with the pencil sharpener, it will be sharp and it will be fresh and dark. And so that's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. And I feel like when I do that, it accentuates my eyes and makes my eyes look bigger because naturally I have small eyes. So if I cover this part up, let me show you what my eye looks like without it. That's what my eye looks like without it. And I think my eyes are small. But when I do this, it opens up my eye and, and, and makes it wider. I don't know if it makes sense, y'all. I know some of the guys on here is like, what is she talking about? <laughs> Gina, try to dress one time and let us see. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. My hairdresser, um, my hairdresser had suggested it. 
there's these things called uh, bohemian uh, braids, and they look like dreads. She told me that she wanted me to try it. Uh, maybe I'll try it one day. One day, just to say, you know, that I've tried it, just to see if I like it or not. I'll have to try it. No beeswax. I would never do beeswax on my hair. <laughs> T Love says, do braids, do the twist. <laughs> oh my goodness. I used to wear like twists. I would twist my hair up here. I would have twists going up here and then I'd put a rubber band and then just let the rest of my hair hang down. I did that a lot when I was younger. <laughs> I know. You said those braids are extremely tight. Y'all, I don't want to, I, I don't, I be hearing horror stories about people that wear braids, like their hair gets pulled out and, you know, I, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to me. Oh, hold on, y'all. Let me check my computer here. Y'all having a good time, y'all? Okay, let me make sure I'm signed out. What's that? Let's see, view your receipt. Okay. It, this is so funny. Look. Uh, view your receipt from the place that I made an appointment with for my hair. We was just talking about hair, right? It says view your receipt. <laughs> That's my receipt because you got to put like, um, you got to put, like some money down when you make your appointment we were just talking about hair and here's an email saying view your receipt for when you're going to come in and get your hair done on the <laughs> on the 31st my goodness it's like it's like the camera was listening to me you said siri is listening i don't like it i don't like it uh i don't like it let's see let me make sure i'm signed out okay Let me make sure all my tabs is closed. I make sure all tabs is closed. I sign out of all accounts. I sign, sign out of my Google accounts. I, I just sign out of everything on my computers. You hear me? Yes, I do. I got all kind of firewalls up on my computer. Yes, I do. ESP. What's that? Your hair is down to your back, and it takes 40 minutes to do wash and twists. Oh, it does? 40 minutes? That sounds about right. It, so yours is down to your back? Is it long as mine, or is it long as mine, or uh, longer? When you go in to show your hat collection, you always got cool headgear. Oh, one time I'll have to take y'all in my closet. <laughs> my closet don't look the best right now, but I will take you in my closet. I, that's something I'd like to do. I'd like to do that. Oh, it's mid. Okay, okay, okay. ESP is when you have a notion of something is going to happen or you believe it's going, oh yeah. Um, what, what did I used to call it? Um, that's not what I used to call it. I used to call it, um, uh, oh, oh, I'm thinking of something different. I'm thinking of deja vu. Mildred Pink says, are you lie? I, I don't know what that means, Mildred Pinks. Are you lie? What is lie? I, I need you to clarify that. I, I did a closet video before. When I showed you all my shoes, is that what he's talking about? I'm doing good, Melinda. How are you? Thank you for coming in and joining Tracy extra sensory or, or what do you say 
extrasensory precipitation. Your chat keeps freezing up. Oh no. Oh, she means live. Yes, I'm live. I am live right now. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. You have deja vu episodes so often it's scary. Oh, purple love, yes. Y'all, I had a dream. I had the wildest dream. I had the wildest dream. I couldn't understand what the dream was about. What was that dream about? I told my husband and he said, you do have some really vivid dreams. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened in the dream. Oh, you remember the video, the shoes, the hats, etc. Okay. Oh, you said do tell the dream. Okay, so um, I could on on Wednesdays, the person that we hire to um, cut our grass, they come out Wednesday morning and they're faithfully out there every you know every Wednesday about eight o'clock cutting the grass. And they do such a great job. But I was sleeping and I could hear them in my sleep. I knew they was out there and I was happily sleeping. But yet I could still, you know, in the background hear them cutting the grass. Well, in the dream, I woke up to look out my bedroom window. And there was this Asian man. And he was riding on a... Uh, uh, like a riding mower or something, but his riding mower was taking all the grass up, taking the grass up, taking the cement up, taking my lawn chairs and everything. And I was thinking, what the? I was doing like this. No, stop. I was thinking, stop. What are you doing? And he would not stop. And guess what he was doing? He was going in circles fast, 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 fast like that. And as he was doing that, all I could see is brown mud everywhere. And I thought, what the heck is happening? Right? And then this lady came, and I was assuming she was like HOA or something. And she was like, it's okay. She was like, I just got another call. She says, not happening to just your house. Because I thought it was just my yard. She said, they're down the street doing the same thing. She said, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. Right? And uh, <laughs> it was weird. It was weird. And one of my neighbors was like, I threw a stick at him. <laughs> I'm thinking, what the heck is happening? Right? And so um, we was just looking at them. She said, it's okay. She was like, you, she was like, um, you have a uh, homeowner's insurance. She was like, what? she was like, we're going to get them out of here. She was like, don't worry about nothing, right? And I woke up in a frantic, and I was sweating, and I came in here, and my husband was boiling some eggs. <laughs> my husband was boiling. No, he was cleaning the basement steps, the steps that go in the basement. And he had, it was smelt so good in here. <laughs> so that's what he was doing. He was cleaning the basement. He was wiping down the basement steps and mopping. He had coffee going, and then he was getting ready to make some eggs. He said, what's wrong? And I said, I had a horrible dream. I said, I had a nightmare. I told him, he said, man, you have some vivid dreams. <laughs> so I don't know what that was all about, but it was crazy. It, it woke me up in a frantic. That man, that Asian man on there, he was going around. I said, what is he doing? He tearing my lawn up. <laughs> I was telling him, no, no, no. And it, that was making him go faster. <laughs> it was a wild dream. <laughs> Maybe the dream just stemmed from in the background as I was sleeping, I could hear uh, my lawn service out there cutting the grass. Maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. But I tell you what, I do have some dreams. <laughs> you said sounds crazy. You said I would have threw a <laughs> Derek. <laughs> my name. My neighbor said I threw a stick at him. <laughs> it was a 
a dream. Oh, man. Gina, I would love for you to make some of your old recipes healthy style. Marcia, I would love for you to make some of your old recipes healthy style. Okay, so now when I make it healthy, when I make it healthy, I'm going to be putting it on the new channel. Okay, so it, it, what I'd like for you to do, if you can, if you have the time, um, tell me what recipes you want to see be made into a, a, a great healthy recipe, and I'll do it for you. But I need you to go over to that new channel and put it in the comment section. I'm going to do release a video tomorrow on that new channel. Okay, and under that video that I release tomorrow, put that in the chat, what you're wanting to see, and I'll make it for you. Okay? Valencia's laughing. Gina, do you snore? Um, I don't snore, I don't think, but my husband said I sleep with my mouth open. I, and I know I do. So uh, I'm familiar with, I know that I do, uh, sleep with my mouth open. So I wonder if that could cause allergies. I wonder if that could cause allergies. <laughs> Gina, your dreams are weird. <laughs> Rhonda, <laughs> Rhonda, thank you. <laughs> I have Bible study now. Oh, Phases, thank you for coming in and joining. I appreciate having you every time you come in. So somebody says, what's my favorite um, <clears throat> uh, Tina Turner? I'd like to say, is, is Private Dancer her song? Is Private Dancer her song? If so, I'd like to say it's that. Um, it's so funny because... My husband told me to tell y'all this too. He said, you used to be my little private dancer until you got, until you start doing them YouTube shorts. <laughs> he said, you, you dancing for the whole world now. <laughs> I'll eat late before I go to bed. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he did tell me that. <laughs> he said, before you start doing them YouTube shorts, he said, now you everybody's dancer. <laughs> That was so funny, y'all. He that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to say that would be the song. And now I got it in my head. I, I think that it was, it was a great song. You said her song, she knew how to use those. Yes, yeah, she did. She had great arms, y'all. If I could have her arms, I would be so happy. I mean, she had, she had beautiful, she had beautifully shaped arms. Oh, her arms was beautiful. And, and they had muscles to them, too. <laughs> I will buy you a crystal ball. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay, so y'all like the one that, was that a good one that I chose? Was that a good song that I chose? Be honest, y'all. Be honest with me. Was that a good song that I chose? Oh, yours is What's Love Got? Okay, okay. That's a good one, Mildred. Okay, yes, it was. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. She was 83, you know, so she lived a good life. See, I don't know anything about astrological signs. I don't know how to even say it, my holy king. <laughs> astrological signs. I don't even know how to say it. Ask everyone what their astro, astro. Mr. Young is funny. He is. Um, astro, astro. I don't know how to say that word, my holy king. <laughs> Ask what everybody's astrological sign is. I don't even. <laughs> I'm trying to say it. I can't say it. 
Y'all know I'm a Taurus. My holy king is a Taurus. Gemini here. Virgo, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. Saj is a Taurus. Derek is a Libra. Valencia says yes. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing all the stuff y'all are saying about um, Tina Turner. Yeah. May God bless her soul and her family and may her music just live on. You know, I'm so serious. Aries. Okay. You're on the cusp. Okay. <laughs> Libra. Pisces. Oh, you like Wanda. Wanda says she likes the private dancer. Okay, there's a Leo. Your mom's birthday is today. Oh, Miss Karen. Oh, God bless your mom. I pray that if she's still with us, that she has a blessed birthday. Yes, absolutely. She was, Derek. Absolutely. Oh, you're a Virgo? Okay. You're a Cancer. Okay, you're a Libra too. Okay. Okay. I can't, y'all, I can't get the song out of my head now. <laughs> I like when, I like when she said, um, when she said any old music, the way she said that, it was, man, it was really nice. Cause she went real deep when she said that. I'm talking about her voice went real deep when she said that. Y'all, listen, you see by the back door, that is, yes, he is, Ron. Uh, that, of course, that, that's two tripods in the corner, right? If you can see them, those black things. But those little tiny yellow things, guess what that is? I'm telling you. Guess what it is? Uh... Uh, it's the fire logs for our bonfire back there, for our fireplace thing back there. On Amazon, it looks like they're huge boxes like this. We paid a lot of money for them, right? And those are tripods, the black things. I'm talking about those yellow boxes right there. The boxes are this big and they got four logs in them. Are you kidding me? Because on Amazon, it looks like the boxes are this big. And when we got them, the batteries, right? When we got them, the boxes are only this big with four little logs in it. I can't believe, the logs ain't even this big because the box ain't even this big. So they must be giving us like four little logs like this big in each box. I thought, man, he paid a lot of money for those. Let me see. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Look at this. Look how little. Y'all on Amazon, we could have swore that they was giving us real big. It says it. This is just so sad. It says just light the wrapper, throw it in there. Just light the wrapper and, you know, they'll light up for you. But they gypped us. I mean, I'm talking about that was a scam. Because when you purchase it, it looks like a huge box. But it wasn't. <laughs> it's tiny, right? How long is our fire going to last? I've never, oh, uh, I was going to say I never returned anything to Amazon. Um, no, and I haven't. I've never returned anything. I've ordered something from Amazon before. I, it was like a, a patio furniture a couple years back at a different house. And the furniture was tiny. It was like Barbie's furniture, right? We sat on it. That, it broke. So if you're not sure, don't get it because they will disappoint you like this. Look how little this box is. How is that a fire log in there? <laughs> it's going to give us a fun. That's something else, ain't it? It ain't even funny, is it?
Guess what Instacart told me to? Did you forget something? They told me, did I forget to check out? Heck no, I just wasn't ready to check out. <laughs> I, can't, I can't put this stuff in the cart anymore and just leave it there until I'm ready to check out. Have y'all ever had that happen? <laughs> Have y'all ever had that happen? Did you forget to check out? Uh, no, I wasn't ready to, con I wasn't ready to check out. I thought you could just put it in the cart and let it sit until you're ready to buy. <laughs> they asked me, did you forget to check out? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> They're trying to rush you. I know. <laughs> y'all, I enjoyed my time with you all. Yes, I did. Thank y'all for coming in and joining me today. <laughs> Instacart being petty. <laughs> but I tell you what, I appreciate them. And I love Instacart. I do. But you can't rush me to get the stuff out the basket, right? <laughs> they are. They're so convenient. They really are. I'm going to get off of here, y'all. I'm going to get a nice bath. I feel like <clears throat> I'm kind of cold right now. I'm going to get into the bathtub. I'm just going to sit back and relax. And guess what I'm going to do? I know it's late, but coffee doesn't keep me wide awake. I'm going to get a warm cup of coffee. That's how cold I am. I'm going to get a warm cup of coffee with some creamer in it. I know I shouldn't have the creamer because it's going to swell my stomach up. But uh, I'm going to have that. I'm just going to sit back and relax. And then I may put some pajamas on and go sit outside before the sun goes down. So that's what I'm going to do. I love, love, love you from the bottom of my heart. Now listen, to, tomorrow and or Friday morning, I'm going to do a community post letting you all know what I'm going to be making on Saturday. Like I'm like 85% that I'm most likely going to be doing a fried chicken dinner. Okay, but we'll see. I don't want to say it now and I don't wind up doing it. Okay. But I love y'all. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you all for sharing my videos. Thank you all for loving me and my family. Thank you all for watching the videos, subscribing, messaging me. Thank you all for everything. I love you all so much. All right. I'm going to get off of here. I ain't getting off without a big old hug. Give me a hug, y'all. Bring it in. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mildred. <laughs> you beat, you can't. Oh, yes, I love y'all so much. I'm gonna get off of here and relax, and if it's still a little light outside, I'm sitting out front. I love you all. You'll see my community post show up. God bless and good night. I had a great time. Listen, make you some egg foo young. You're gonna be happy you ever tried the recipe. Good night.